Hi, I'm Jenny from Jenny's Crayon Collection, and today I'm going to share with you why I collect crayons. I bet you're really excited, right? That's why you clicked on this video. So make sure that you, if you want to see more videos by me, click on subscribe below so that way you can see them all. All right, so why do I collect crayons? Like, what? Why do people collect crayons? Well, when I started collecting crayons when I was about 10 or 12 years old, my sister and I would go down to the local grocery store. And this was my favorite box, Silver Swirls. They were the most amazing crayons to color with. They would go on your paper. It was like coloring with a metallic marker, but it was a crayon. And I loved these things to death. And I, this is not my original box. I have an original crayon from my original box. It was a 16 count box, but and it didn't last. And so maybe I'd walk to the grocery store and look for this box, the silver swirls, and I could never find them. And I was like, what's up with this? Why aren't they in stock? Are they gonna get any more in? And it wasn't until a couple years later that I realized, oh, they're never coming back. And I was so disappointed because they were my favorite crayons to color with and they weren't available anymore. These were also hot fluorescents. These were also my favorite. I had a, a box of these. Uh, this is not, not my original because that one also got destroyed. So I found them and replaced them because they were my favorite boxes. But so I was like, oh, crayons come and go. And it wasn't until college that, you know, when the internet started going on, I realized there were other people that collected crayons and that crayons were really collectible, um, that their Crayola would put them out and then a couple years later or five or 10 years later, they wouldn't be available anymore. And I, I was like, oh wow. And I discovered this world of all these crayons. So in 2012, I joined the Crayon Collecting Club and it was it was on US and Canada mostly. And it's just people that collect crayons and it was really cool to connect with them and see what kind of boxes there were. And cause there's nowhere there's besides um, one website, there's one website that will show you uh, all these crayon boxes. But other than that, the history is just not out there. So you have no idea. So I joined this club and it was so much fun to collect with other members. And I didn't really tell a lot of people about my collection cause I was a little embarrassed. You know, I'd be like, yeah, collect crayons. I have a box full of them in my basement. And it was like in 2014 when I realized a lot of these collectors that I've been collecting for years, they started cutting back on their collections and selling them off. And I was like, you know what? I should probably start a website. And I realized that colored pencils and markers also weren't uh, being, I, I had no idea the history of those. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna start my website. I started a Facebook page at first and it didn't really work. And then I was like, well, I have to do a website. So I did a website and created everything else and it has been such an amazing journey and I've met so many fun people and now we have a Facebook group if you're into collecting crayons. It's um, Crayola Crayon Collectors, just look for us on Facebook. And so it's been so much fun and my hope one day is that there will be a museum or a book written about crayons. There's one book currently um, written about and I don't have it right here, but it, it's outdated already because Crayola comes out even last year, they came out with crayons. They're coming out with crayons this year that you won't be able to find in a couple years. Like there's some Star Wars boxes that you can't find anymore. There's uh, trolls, I think, you might be able to find them, I don't know, Finding Nemo. They come out with all these boxes and they're just out for a little bit of time and then they're gone. And some others are longer and now that we've seen Dandelion retire, who knows what other colors will retire. Here are just a few more boxes. Magic Scent was also one of my favorite ones. This is my original box. And they smell. Color Burst are mixed. So these have like three colors in them. These are really awesome. I haven't actually used them because I picked them up as collector's items. Starbright. Um, Starbright and Silver Swirls were early introduction to glare crayons. I think they were filled attempts. I've tried to read the patent and try to figure out. Um, gem tones. These are actually the same crayons. These came out first. These came out second, but they're the same box, just packages packaged a little differently. Techno Bright, uh, very similar to uh, fluorescent crayons. Silly scents, these ones are gross. It's like alien armpit in there, but hey, somebody's gotta like it, right? Color slicks, 
and I'm not exactly sure. I think these have a lay down factor that's more uh, silky and smooth. And then Pearl Brights is another one. These are all 1990 boxes that you just can't find anymore. And I'm really happy to have them in my collection. And there's so many others. And I hope one day there's a museum and I hope to visit it or be part of it somehow. Or there's another book that's written. But right now I'm really excited for my website. And there's since I started mine, there was one before me. And I found another person that is documenting their crimes and I hope there's a lot of people that will and I hope there's a huge interest and I hope I inspire or we inspire some other people to just kind of look at this history and say wow this is really cool and kind of see the history behind crayons and it's just been very very exciting for me uh, to do this and I've met so many fun people so make sure you visit my website www.jennyscrayoncollection.com I still have about a hundred boxes to add because I keep buying more I'm like oh I have this website I should put this one on there but I don't own it so I'll go and buy it then <laughs> so uh, I will eventually have all the crayons on there that I own but right now I I probably have three, 300 boxes I would imagine of crayons, colored pencils, markers, toys from Crayola. I have some other brands too. I don't collect them as much, but I would love to. Like I said, I would love a museum to put all this stuff in there so we could all learn so many more things about crayons than there are right now. So um, anyway, thank you so much for watching and make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, whatever. So that way you can find out more about crayons and uh, visit my website often. All right. Thanks. Bye Hi, I'm Jenny from Jenny's Cram Collection and Welcome to my first ever video where I'm actually on the video Bear with me. I'm a little nervous